Welcome back guys, this is Rob with Tech. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Plex as a Docker container using Docker Compose file. Uh, I had a couple of comments regarding that, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So first we need to start on storage and you go to file systems. Uh, if you don't have anything here, it's because you if it's probably a new install, but uh, you first need to create a file system. To create one, you're going to click the plus sign right here, create and mount. I usually do ext4 because of the capability between the windows and Macs. Uh, after here you can just do the select down right now i'm not getting any devices because i don't have any but in your case you're going to see a pop-up you're going to do the save uh, and then the screen is going to flash once you're here you make sure you apply the changes on top you're going to click the mount you're going to select that drive is going to populate there and then that's going to create your file system so in this case i'm going to be working on sdb1 right here so after you create that file i mean that file system you're going to go to shared folders in here you need to create a, a folder within your file system so i already have my configs folder and my data folder but i'm going to go ahead and create another data folder just so i can show you the example on plex so i'm just going to click create now that's going to ask you the name so i'm going to do data 2 I mean, yours can be data or videos. Uh, I'm just going to do data too for this example. Select file system. So I said I was going to use the SDB1. That's the file system that you created where you want to create that data to folder. Now here, it depends uh, how do you want to set up your access, right? So in, in this case, I measure read, write, users read, write. Or you can do everyone if you want to make it like a guest. In my case, since it's going to be where I'm going to have all those movie files, I'm just going to create it as everyone read and write. So I don't have any issues copying in folders. But, I mean, you can also use, uh, if you use users, you already have them set up, you can use the default, the yeah. administrator read, write, users read, write. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to add a tag. Or you don't have to, just so I can know why I created this. All right. So now you're going to see that data two now has an absolute path as well. It's going to be the same thing as the top one, but it's now going to be data two. Let me apply the changes. No, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. It's because whenever you're creating folders on there, you need to, uh, it's easier to find on if you SSH into the server. And this is the, the path that you're going to take to find that directory. Uh, so after you create the shared folder, you're going to go to services. Then you're going to do SMB. Then you're going to do shares. Well, if it's a new install, you have to do settings and make sure you enable this. Now, after that, I want to do shares. I'm already sharing my data folder, but for this example, I'm going to do the data two. So I'm going to do enable, select folder. I'm going to do the Plex demo one, data two. Comment. Just so you can remember uh, what it was. I mean, you don't have to do the comment. Public, I'm going to make mine guest only just so it won't ask for a username and password. You can use uh, no, and, and that's going to ask you for a username and password. Um, this goes back to the settings that we did on the permissions for the files. Uh, so I'm just going to choose guest only. Now here, recycling bin, that's in case that you have uh, some sensitive uh, files that you don't if they delete them you want to make sure you can recover you can enable this option i'm not gonna enable that because they're just movies so, i mean um or, or tv shows so to me that's fine uh, let's go ahead and save all right so now we're looking uh we have a data two folder i'm going to go ahead and apply but we just did it with the smb and the this service is that we created a shared network folder so in order for you to access your network share, so this is the IP of my OMV extra folder, I mean server. In order to access the shared folder, you need to go to the IP address of your OMV server. So in, in this case on mine, right, is going to be this 10.0.0.180. 10 10 uh, and to do that, you're just going to do backslash, open up a file explorer, go ahead and click here on the title, do backslash backslash. And then do the IP address of the OMV server, and that's gonna load in your share. So right now I already have my data set up, and I just newly created data too. We're gonna open up data too. If we go in back into the browser, you're gonna see that if we're looking at at Docker Hub and to install Plex, 
I'm going to use this one, Linux server, for slash Plex. And you go down and you're going to see the Docker Compose. It already has the file for you. In this case, they're going to be using TV and movies. So what we're going to go, we're going to do is that uh, on that on that shared folder that we created, we're just going to go ahead and create a new folder. We're going to call it the same way as they have it there. So I'm going to do TV. And then I'll do a new folder. I'm going to do movies. All right, so we have that done. Now for the config, I mean, if, if I'm going to go ahead and throw it on a different folder that I have for my configs. But if you want to add the config here, um, you can just go ahead and create the folder here. But in my case, I have a, a dedicated uh, directory just for the config. So uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we go back to Open Media Vault and we go to Shared Storage, Shared Folders. I had already created this configs folder. Now you don't need to create it it's just the way that i set it up initially so that's where i'm going to be tossing that that for slash config that is right here that's why i'm going to link it to that um so going back after you do that you can just go ahead and copy this docker compose just highlight it copy it and then you go back to omv here in omv what you're going to do you're going to go back into services compose files you're going to create a new file you're going to name it plex media server i'm going to do plex and you're just going to go ahead and copy the file now before you proceed with this you need to make sure that you modify this path right here and in order to get those paths you need to get the absolute value so i'm just going to go ahead and save it like that and and while I get those other paths. So I'm going to go back to, let me apply this. You're going to go back to storage, share folders, and the path that we want is going to be uh, data too, and also configs. But if you look at the absolute path, since it's the same drive, it's SDB1, it's, all the beginning is going to be the same what changes is the last right data two or data or configs so i'm just going to copy data two i'm going to go back to services compose files i'm going to go into the plex media server do the edit and i'm going to go ahead and change this right here uh, i'm going to go ahead and override it with what we have right so it's going to be i'm just going to do right click paste so this was telling it is that so the container is going to see forward slash tv but we need to tell it what folder to use in, in our v server so here remember that we had a tv folder so this will be the pass the srv dev or slash data 2 for slash tv now for this one movies will be the same thing so it's going to be the same thing uh the same path data 2 forward slash movies if you're confused on this it's uh it goes back to to the shares right so i'm only just linking it by me specifying the srv dev disc um it's only pointing to tv and it's pointing to movies Th that's what, what i'm doing with that now for my config i'm going to use the same thing but instead of using data 2 since i had my other config folder I'm just going to specify that in there. So basically modify that based on um, how you have your directory set up. Another thing that you have to change is the PUID and the PGID. In my case, I already know mine. I'm using the admin account. In my case, it's 998. And this one is just 100. Now, if you don't know how to get that, you can go to the command line. We just go ahead and SSH, and then you're gonna do root at the IP address to your server password. Now you're gonna do ID, and then the username they have. Like in my case, I'm gonna use admin. You see how it gives you the UID, and it gives you the GID. Now, if you have uh, 
another one let's say id root that will give you the, the same thing right uid and gid so this will be based on whatever user user that you have created for this it would probably be a good idea to run plex under a different username and not like the admin account so let's go ahead and create a user account just so we can run plex i mean it's not required you can just run it on, under the admin account but i think it's a lot safer you have a dedicated uh, username for that so let's go ahead and do that so let me save this file again we're going to go to and then we're going to do users and then we're going to go ahead and click create create name i'm just going to do an app user password create a specific password now for groups i remember on the forms there's a docker group and then you can add it to users and this would just uh help accessing like file shares there you go so dot users and docker that's the the ones that i'm going to add it to no right save apply the changes now we're going to go back to ssh and this is where i mean like ssh you can do app user i mean not ssh i'm already signed in um id and then app user let me spell that you see how now it's a thousand uid a thousand and guid a hundred so now that you have that you can go back to uh, services compose files flex media server and modify this so you're going to do the the puid which was a thousand and then pgid was a hundred now this will be changed for you based on your install now here i already know my time zone tz means time zone so i'm going to do america forward slash uh, so chicago now every time you find like an object optional tag it's not um, necessary right you can remove it so before we do that you can look at what that is uh you go back to the container here parameters so you can see plex claim so it's like uh it'll tell you what it is right but in my case i'm not gonna be using that token so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove it now it's important not to modify the syntax all the spacing you cannot indent indent uh everything has to be aligned the way that you see it because if you mess with all that uh it will give you syntax errors in this case it already looks correct i'm gonna do save i'm gonna apply the changes and then uh, we should uh, be ready to start our plex container so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a check what the check does it's like it'll check all the syntax make sure everything is good if it gives you an error it's because something messed up on on here so uh that's a good uh, way to find out so i'm just gonna do the ups and I'm just gonna do all the download all right so now we have plex uh, media server running to access uh, Plex Media Server, you're going to go to the IP address again of the OMB. You're going to do port 32400 4 slash web. Let me sign in. So we're just going to do got it and then um, exit out of this. I'm just going to leave that name. That depends on how you want to name yours that's based if you do like a dns so i'm not gonna allow mine to access media outside the home i'm just gonna have it as internal i think i'm not sure if you were to uh, leave it like this if you still need to do port forwarding on your router side or if it would just work I i'm not sure on that so i'm just gonna remove that next i'm not gonna do the wash dates now here we're going to add our library so for movies we'll just leave it movies next folder remember we created the movie so it's going to be movies and then all right then we're going to add the other folder that we had was uh, tv shows and then uh let's go ahead and link it tv 
a library. We could add the music or any other libraries if you wanted. You have to modify the Docker Compose file. Okay, so I'm going to click done. Final setup. I'm just going to close this. So currently, Moise is empty. Um, and that's because remember we created the chair. So you have libraries in your in your Plex. Uh, so the one that I'm right now is movies. So I'm going to open up that folder and then I'm going to go ahead and drag a video file into that folder. So I just added this short clip that I have. Let's see if it populates over there on the Plex. So once you add a case, if uh, it doesn't come up, you can just go ahead and click on this three dots actions and do scan library files. You'll populate the the movie. So this is a short clip that I put. Welcome back, guys. This is Rob with Tech. This is part two of See how it's uh, working there. That's what it's going to be percent. Um, and that's it, guys. That's how you install Plex. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. Thank you.